Are you a confident person? Leave your answer in the comment section below, guys. I'm curious. This is your first time watching me. My name is Jay. I'm a retired Army Green Beret out of 3rd Special Forces Group. The intent behind this channel, guys, is to share my knowledge and wisdom with the next generation. So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. I appreciate it. Guys, today I want to talk to you guys about self-confidence as a Special Forces operator, as a husband, as a father, and just overall as a man. How do you get to the point where you are self-confident or you are confident at everything that you do? I can tell you right now, guys, I didn't start off as a confident person at all. I think like most young men out here, I had a trial by tribulations. I had to go through certain things to gain the confidence that I needed to succeed at life. I'm here to share with you how to become more confident and hopefully you can skip some of the stuff that I went through and get ahead of the power curve so you could become a super self-confident special forces guy, a super self-confident man, husband, father, that will hopefully be an asset to society. So when you think of confident guys, the word confidence comes from the root word confine, which means to trust in. So self-confidence simply means to trust in yourself. Riddle me this, do you currently trust yourself? Do you currently think that if you tell yourself you're going to do something, that you're going to hold yourself accountable to actually do it? If the answer is no, there lies your problem. Self-confidence comes from the bond that you put and build with yourself. For example, this morning, I had a plan to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Did I follow through with that plan? Yes, I did. So I'm thus building confidence and trust in the words that I tell myself. So I tell myself at five o'clock in the morning, I'm going to wake up, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, and I'm going to go walk on the treadmill. These are all promises that I made to myself that I need to keep. The minute that I keep it, I'm building confidence in myself. I then tell myself, hey, once you're done with your walk, you're going to go and knock out a workout. I'm going to work out for 30 to 45 minutes on whatever body parts I identify, and then I'm going to go grab a quick shower, and I'm going to get ready to start my day. Those are all events that I had planned out that I hold myself accountable to make sure that they get accomplished. Once they do, all I'm doing is just holding my promises to myself. I'm building trust in my ability to do what I said I'm going to do. And as I do those, the more and more my confidence will raise. Now, what do you think would happen if I told myself to get up at five and then five o'clock comes around and I stay in bed? Or if I tell myself I'm going to go work out at 530 and 530 comes around and I'm not in the gym working out, I'm breaking promises to myself. Thus, I'm losing confidence in my ability to do what I say I'm going to do. So I'm becoming less and less confident. So what you need to do is the opposite. You need to build yourself up. And the more you do that, the more confident you will become as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a special forces guy. If you tell yourself you're going to go to work and you're going to clean your weapon and you're going to make sure all the team's equipment is where it needs to be, you go there and you do that, that builds you up and now your team sergeant your teammates you know like they're all seeing it and they're like man this dude does what he says he's gonna do you go a step further you hit the range and you tell everybody dude i'm gonna work my butt off until i'm the best shot in the team or in the company and you hit the range and you do that and everybody sees it they're like man this dude is badass he's a confident dude when it comes to pistol all that is, is you're holding yourself accountable for stuff that you say you're going to do. And as you do that, others are going to see it and your confidence is going to start to bleed over to where your leaders, your friends, your spouse, your kids are going to start seeing how confident you are. And now they're going to start asking you to do stuff because they know that you're going to do it. They are now confiding in you. They're trusting you. 
as a man, as a special forces guy, as a husband, as a father, because you have that self-confidence about you that when you tell them you're going to do something, your word is your bond. You're not going to break it. You're actually going to do it. But it all starts with your ability to build self-confidence. And the way you build self-confidence is by holding yourself accountable, doing the things that you tell yourself you're going to do. And if you don't do something, then you need to punish yourself. Now, I'm not talking about getting a nail and sticking it in your hands or anything to that extreme, but you need to do something that's of value. You need to do something that makes sense. For example, if you told yourself you're going to wake up at 530 and then 530 comes around and you hit the snooze button and you sleep until six, then maybe later on that night, like instead of, you know, watching your favorite show or instead of doing something that you really enjoy to do, you don't do it. You got to have some sort of punishment system to where it sticks, to where it makes sense. Every time you go to sleep in again, it's going to jog your memory that, hey, if you sleep in, there's a consequence for you sleeping in. What that consequence is, guys, that's up to you. So that is how I've been able to build my self-confident, guys. And I hope that you got something from this to help you on your journey on becoming a more confident man. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any tips that the candidates could use to build that self-confidence so they can hit selection, hit the Q course, hit the teams and be a confident special forces guy, then please share it in the comment section below, guys. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.